Hi everyone, it's Be Divine and uh, welcome to the little snapshot for the month of October. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm going through the different star signs, uh, starting off with Pisces, where well, we're doing the water signs now, uh, Pisces, Cancer, and then Scorpio, getting a quick snapshot of what is coming up for October. I know I've just done the September energies, but let's have a quick sneak peek at October as well. Um, now this is just a very quick little reading, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna figure out a theme. What is your theme, Pisces, uh, for October? And we're gonna do a tarot card and also a tea leaf card to give us an extra bonus message as well. Okay, so here we go, um, Pisces. What's your theme for October? Using the Astral House cards, what's your theme for October, Pisces? Love, that's nice. Okay, so you're focused on love and relationships. So let's put this here. Okay, what's your deeper message, Pisces? Around love and relationships, what's going on in October? Okay, there's a beautiful message here. For Pisces. Now this is talking about um, feeling blessed, like getting a blessing coming forward for you, moving to another level in an existing relationship or beginning something brand new if you aren't in one. If you don't want to be in one, it's also about your inner child and nurturing yourself and spending time um, where you feel happy within. Dreams, visions, intuition is also heightened. Um, and also children, if you're planning on a pregnancy or planning on having conceiving kids or just spending time with kids, this is definitely a um, something that could come, come about in October, okay? A wave of emotion could be here too. So you could be feeling really, really happy um, in, the, in this month. Okay, and also just a bonus message from your tea leaf cards, okay, for Pisces. What else is going on for you with regards to love? And it's got the energy of dolphin. Financial gain usually coming from something that you did in the past. So you and someone that you care about deeply will have this financial gain or it'll be something to do with relationships, family-wise, etc. Um, you need to have that carefree attitude for the month of October and everything will start to um, fly into your lap, so to speak. Awesome news for Pisces. And I'm moving on to the energy of Cancer. Hi Cancer, uh, this is a snapshot reading for the month of October. Very, very quick messages for you to see what the theme is for the month of October. We're doing a tarot card and a tea leaf card. We're also going to use the astral house cards um, to see what your theme is. So let's go Cancer. What's the theme for October for Cancer? That's it. And you are focused on success for the month of October. This is awesome. Cancer, let's see what message you have from your tarot cards as well, okay? Here we go, Cancer, for the month of October. What is bringing this success? What are the messages around success? Okay, this has to do with a job opportunity for Cancer, okay? There's someone here that is going to be working with you, um, uplifting your finances, bringing you into a new position offering you a position perhaps abroad, a position in another country maybe, um, or something that touches people around the world. It's gonna make you feel very, very um, pleased with yourself and uh, very, very, um, oh, what's the word? It's sort of like really, really pumped up for what the future is going to bring. You're gonna feel really excited in the month of um, October uh, for cancer. The money that you need is going to be there. The success is all around you and you have loyal company as well. Let's see what else. The, oh, that's the message. It jumped right out. 
for cancer. Okay, so the message is depression, anxiety, worried someone is against you. That might be how you've been feeling. But when you meet this person, or this energy comes up, you will be like, okay, now I feel great. All right. So don't worry about, um, you know, people who um, are jealous of you or sending that negative energy. Don't let it get to you. If you start feeling that way, remember something major is about to happen. It's going to bring you all the happiness that you need. Okay. Success for the month of October for cancer. And it has to do with where you're working and what you're doing and your finances. Don't let depressive energies get a hold of you. Okay. Moving on to Scorpio. Finally, Scorpio. This is a snapshot reading for the month of October. We are focusing on exactly that. We're focusing on a theme uh, for the month, like what's coming up for you. I'm using the Astral House cards. Don't forget to check your moon and rising sign, of course, as well. And uh, we will see what messages come up for you. Scorpio, here we go. What's your theme, Scorpio? That's it. You're focused on wealth. I love it. For the month of October. Okay, so let me make sure that's all. Okay, here we go. My camera doesn't like all the movement. All right. You ready? Scorpio. Wealth. How is this all coming about for October? Quick snapshot, quick reading. Okay, here we go. It's coming from a tactful sort of energy. You're going to have to use your inner resources here in uh, the month of October. It's birthday month for a lot of Scorpios. Um, you know, the, you're going to just have to use your inner feeling, your intuition that you already have. The wealth is going to come from you coming up with a fantastic idea that is related to your own skills. Okay. I feel that that's pretty much the theme for a lot of people is that, you know, they have to start to rely, you have to start to rely that you already have all the power and all of the um, energy within you, you know, to do whatever it is that you want to do. And the more people that focus on that, the happier the world will be. Okay, Scorpio, what's your other message? Okay, compliments from an admirer. So while you're busy creating, <laughs> people are going to be enjoying this energy around you as well. And you may receive a lot of different compliments um, in the month of October. Um, that's going to make you feel good about the decisions that you're making, okay? As you're moving into this new cycle in October. Now, of course, this is just a very, very quick little reading that I came up with, okay? A little snapshot for the month of October. It's not um, set in stone. Everything can change if you want it to. Um, and I just wanted to bring these readings for you and just share what my feelings are. And I hope that you enjoyed. And until the next time, many, many blessings and goodbye for now.